All right, let's take a look at another assignment that has been causing confusion. It's on the 5-6, the Starship Equinox Quest. And it's this one, create your own images. So if you've been turning it in and it comes back to you and, and you weren't clear on what I showed on this video, hopefully this new video will make it clearer. But please, always look for my feedback first. Read what I wrote. And I wrote, you have to upload an image that you create in Adobe Spark onto your Google Sites page. Oh, okay. Now, if you go back to the task and watch my video, when I do something, you pause me, then you go do it. Come back, play, watch, pause, do, repeat. Watch, pause, do, repeat. By the time you get to the end of the video, you should have it done correctly. So let's click on this link here and go to Adobe Spark. One of the things I show on the video is make sure you sign in correctly. That's the first step. You want to log in with school account on this side, then continue with Google. Otherwise, you won't get all the free uh, features that most people have to pay for. Our school gets them for free. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a new tab because I want to go to Google Sites. Open up my ePortfolio. So by now, I've done images uh, on ePortfolio. I learned how to click on images and upload images that I found on the internet that are Creative Commons, not copyright. I learned how to add videos. Now I want to learn how to make my own images so I don't have to use copyrighted material. So I showed you on the other video to click on the plus and do a custom sized graphic. And you wanna pick, let's see, I think it was social post size. Yeah, I think an Instagram size, ooh, that one's big. Instagram size is big, but it's not bad. It's got the right shape. I want it to be kind of rectangular square. Kind of squarish, but doesn't have to be a perfect square. Um, then if you watch the other video, I show you how to use this. You can uh, use one of the templates here. If you use a template, right, and create from this template, it started it for you. And all you have to do is maybe change the background and of course change the words. You can't just copy somebody else's template. You got to use it for inspiration. Uh, you can upload photos you found on the internet as long as they're Creative Commons. Or you can go here to find free photos and search for something. Uh, so maybe I want a design. I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Uh, how about blue? Oh, look at those blue skies. So you can add your own images. Uh, again, base it off of one of your seven random facts. Maybe one that you haven't already done. Something that you love, you're going to create your own image for. And then when you double click here, see the text, you can change the text. All right, so I'm not really creating my own here. Uh, so this one is a sample that I need to remember to delete because I don't want to keep it. But when you're done, you go up here to download and uh, you want to choose a PNG because that's the type of image that works really well. And then just download it. And I want a solid color background. And that's it. You're done. Now you go back here and the rest is easy. You're going to go to where you want to put the picture, click on images, upload, and choose the image you just downloaded. And there you go. You now have an image. Now, please just uh, let me move my text back up here because now the text got moved. When you create your own images, insert a text box to make a caption. So I'm going to make this smaller because you want to put a caption of A, Here's an image I created, and then explain what it is. Always caption your personal creations, and, and 
you could make it copyright too, so other people have to ask your permission before they just download it and take it. As always, when you make a change on your Google site, click on Publish, click on Publish, click on the drop-down arrow, click on View Publish Site, and copy that link. I highlighted, I do Control C, I go back to Classcraft, I click in your assignment, Control V, there's the link, submit, submit, and you are done. When you resubmit an assignment, go to the message center, click on sixth grade, and then just leave me a message saying, Mr. Gonzalez, I resubmitted my create your own image assignment. And there you have it.